Hey everyone, Susan here with Busy with the Cricky dot Stamping Up dot Net. I wanted to uh, talk to you again tonight about my October class to go. In the October class to go, we are using the Cherish the Bu Cherish the Season bundle, which oops, I'm using some of these so they're out. Um, which is the Cherish the Season stamp set, uh, which has stamps of the bells, the greenery, the two from sentiments, and a really pretty font for Merry Christmas. It also has these really, really nice dies, including the ones that are loose on my desk because I have been working. So there's a couple of things I want to show you about using this set that I have kind of learned as I have gone through this. I don't want you to be frustrated, so I thought I'd save you, um, you know, the frustrations I had. When you cut the dies, they come out like this, which is really pretty, except some of the pieces will fall out because they're giving you the option to take out the leaves and the berries and do cardstock behind there or to just have it open. I prefer it with the colors in there and to color them. So how I do that is as soon as I lift the die out and pretend this is still in the die, I make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. All of the little pieces are being held in place by the die. I then put some liquid glue on there and I cover it with a little scrap piece of cardstock. And that holds everything together so that it doesn't fall out. Ah, I've got kind of noises and mess, sorry. My grandchildren were here today. And I wanted to work on this a little bit while they were doing schoolwork. So I packaged up a little bit of, of uh, merchandise and took to the other room. So what I use to get from this look to this look is I take our Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. I am using, I'm pretty sure this is Just Jade. Yep. Oh, nope, this is Dark Shaded Spruce. Well, never mind. I use Dark Shaded Spruce, and I color in. And I was always using that brush tip, and I rarely use the pen tip, but I have discovered that the pen tip does a really nice job on coloring in these leaves and the little berries. Now, if I were to touch this immediately, some of it would wipe off on my finger. But if I just leave it there, the alcohol will dry and the color will stay put. And this happens very rapidly. Now, if I were to use regular marker, I'm not sure that it would ever permanently set. But the alcohol markers, it does a really nice job of setting and staying. Now, with these little ones, that are just kind of embossed in there. Just do a little, just a little line up the middle. Now I am taking dark cherry cobbler. And again, I'm using that pen end and I just sort of color the little berries. I think this just really, really dresses this up. It takes it from really nice to outstanding in my mind. Oh, and I don't know if you just saw that. I ran my finger across it, and absolutely nothing happened. Now, I am putting together what we call swaps. Swaps are where I will send my cards to other Stamping Up demonstrators, and they will send theirs back to me. I am using this card from my October class to go as my swap. So I sat and cut... 20 of these guys because I thought I'd make a couple of extra for you know my kids just in case. So I sat and cut the pieces for 20 of these and then today while my grandchildren were doing their schoolwork I colored. 
But as you can see, I did my little cheat method on these. Now, if you lift the die up, and I'll get out the smaller die because I don't see what I did with the larger die. I'm sure it's on my desk. I should also tell you I had a little avalanche where some boxes from up there fell down on top of me a moment ago. So I'm just going to get out a different die and show you. So when you use this die and you pick it up after it's been cut, sometimes these pieces will stay on the cutting mat. I like it when they don't stay on the cutting mat, when they just lift right up and, you know, stay with the die. And I flip it over and I go ahead and glue them into place and then I separate it. But in case that doesn't work out, while this is still like this, I chase down the other little pieces and put them back in and then I go ahead and glue. Um, it's more likely to happen that they come out on the smaller size dies than on the large die. But again, my little secret is I leave them in the cutting die. I make sure everything's in place. I put glue and then I put a little what I call a bandage on the back. And that holds it. Okay. So if you would like my class to go for October, these are the elements you need to order. You go to busy with the cricky dot stamping up dot net and you will order item one five five one four cherish the season bundle if you want to do the metallic bells you will order our brush metallic cardstock item one five three five two four and if you want to use this fabulous fabulous paper that I used on so many of the cards um, I used it on this card and this card. Um, you will order item, the Brightly Gleaming um, Special Designer Series Paper 150429. When you're asked to enter a hostess code, if this is all you're ordering, please use this hostess code for this month. If you add extra things to your order, thank you. And go ahead, if you get to $150, and take the hostess credit for yourself. If you order the Cherish the Season bundle and one of these items, I will send you, actually, if you just order the Cherish the Season bundle, I will send you the materials for these four cards already cut and all set to go. In fact, I have one that I thought was going to be delivered today and want to go in the mail. And to be honest, I forgot there was no mail today. So these are local, and I'm just going to drop these off for my customer. And they are all ready. I'll show you what she's getting. She is getting, I believe that is this card. She is getting all of the pieces already cut. She has to do her own stamping. And, oh, it's this card. She has to do her own stamping, and she has to tie her own bow and color her own bell, and she'll just put this all together. So, again, if you order any, if you order the Cherish the Season bundle, plus any of this, but definitely if you order the Cherish the Season bundle, I will send you the kit to do these four cards. Stamping Up will notify me when you order and then I will get those right out to you. Thanks for stopping by tonight. I have a new webcam, which I tested last night, and I'm trying to use tonight. So there's a little bit of a curved distortion. I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm not sure how to overcome that. Um, it doesn't like looking straight down on my desk, but I like it looking straight down because I want you to see everything going on here. So if you have suggestions and know about webcams, please let me know. Um, in the meantime, thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks for considering my October class to go. And I will be back soon. Thanks.